Okay, today we're going to uh, show how ridiculous the spinning globe is. It just doesn't work. I got my assistant here. <laughs> okay, and uh, so first we're going to draw the lines on here. Draw some rings around here. We're going to point out a few fatal flaws in the globe religion. Okay, so let's just get the equator drawn on here. Okay. I'm going to show you here what we're doing closer. Okay, so we're drawing the equator on this globe. So that's the equator, and they're telling you it's tilted like this, <laughs> which is retarded. Yes, exactly, exactly, thank you. And so, and the story about how it got tilted is absurd some mysterious object, okay, this is what they believe, came in and hit it and then tilted it just the right amount. Well, you know, I thought if you hit something in space, you hit it, it it's going to keep going, the other object, but no, it hit it, it just tilted it, and then the, it crumbled, and then the pieces formed the moon with its exact uh, cycle around the Earth. Did you buy that? No. No, that's false. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's irrational. Um, the previous story was uh, the moon spun off. The earth spun off from the sun. And then the, uh, the moon came off of the earth. Okay. No, you don't. Hang on. Just a moment. You can get in a minute. So we have to draw some more circles. So we're going to draw some more circles on here. <laughs> okay, so watch this. So they keep changing their story. It's just ridiculous. The other one that I found out, okay, there's a book, um, not yet, so we, there, wait, wait. I will draw a circle. I will draw a circle. Hold on, hold on. We're making a video right now. It's this girl. Here. Okay, so. No, no, don't remember to eat them. You can, you know. can I do a circle after the balloon? Later, on the other balloon. On the other balloon. Okay, this one's mine. I need to do this. Okay, so, you know what they say today? Today they say that, um, and this is, uh, this is ridiculous. It's summer when the, when the ball is furthest away from the sun. Okay, that's summer. And, and winter, okay, no, not now, you can't interrupt the video, I'm making a video. I get the key, then you need to get back in here, please. Okay, so, um, you're standing in front of the sun, sweetie. <laughs> we need that. Just, you, you sit there and watch and count for a minute, for a minute. Okay, so, here it is, stripes on the ball. So what they say is, you know, it's summer when the ball is furthest away from the sun. Okay, that right there is a problem. It's nonsensical. So now, the old days, before the tilt, okay, it was summer when the earth was closest to the ball, okay? That's when it was summer, but you can see the immediate problem. You know, this ball is going to be spinning. <laughs> You're going to have no seasons, okay? No seasons. No seasons. So they said, well, we got to fix that. So they said, oh, let's just tilt the ball. But then tilting the ball caused another problem. Tilting the ball caused another problem. And the problem is, well, there's a lot of problems after they did that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. that's all. No, no, that's all. 
So Katsu Kato Romi La. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> last my thought. Okay, so in the past there was no tilt, and this is at least as of 1899. And it was the ball, it was summer when the ball was closest to the sun. Okay? So then they added a tilt and said that it's summer when the ball is furthest from the sun by millions of miles. Okay? So it doesn't work. Okay? So the problem that you're going to find out is when you're tilted towards the sun, okay? So when you're tilted towards the sun, the 24-hour sun in the north works, okay? Somewhat. But over here, when it's winter and you're tilted away from the sun, okay, you have a serious problem. Because look at the angle of those lines, okay? You have to ascend, okay, into light from darkness. You can see there's like a terminator line on this balloon and everything. This is working out better than I thought, okay? So imagine this ball is spinning, all right, counterclockwise, and that's counterclockwise that way, okay? And so you're going to be spinning up, okay? You see that line is angled up. You're going to be spinning upwards, okay? <laughs> and look where that's going to put your sun. Your sun is going to be low on the horizon, okay? Yeah. Exactly. You see that? Please, go ahead. Yeah. And the sun is going to be low on the horizon. And so how... That's a huge... Yes, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, I will, I will. See, she knows everything about flat earth, vaccines, chemtrails, GMO. <laughs> okay, and she's five. So she knows a lot more than you. Um, not yet, sweetie, just a moment. We're almost there. Okay, so look at that. So this is the problem. I'm going to get another, uh, we're going to use a bike tire now for a second. And I'll show you the problems with, you see how tilted those lines are, okay? And that's going to cause serious problems. So, so when you ascend, that's going to make the sun look like it's dropping. So you know how we see the 24-hour sun footage and the sun is going like this? Okay, it's going up and down like that. That's right, that's right. Okay, that's, they say that that's because of the tilt. Okay, because you're on a, a tilted merry-go-round. Right, <laughs> exactly. So, they say you're on a tilted merry-go-round. And that's why you see the sun in the northern light is going up like that. Well, then, this is the problem. If that's the case, if, if a tilted spinning ball makes the sun appear to do that, well, here it is. Here's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You see? You're going around the sun. So the problem is going to be you're going up. Okay? You're going up. The sun is going to appear to be going down. And then let's take that down. That's everywhere on the ball. Doesn't matter where you are. You see all the lines. Are angled up. So if you go to Antarctica, <laughs> pretend, yeah, this Antarctica, and what's going to happen? It's going to, if you even, okay, let's say you had a 24 hour sun in Antarctica, say you lived on a ball. Well, you know what? The sun at 12 noon is going to appear to be right at the horizon, and at midnight, that's when the sun is going to appear to be higher in the sky. Okay, it's reversed, and they can't get out of that. That's why, you know, anybody who thinks there's 24-hour sun in Antarctica is retarded, okay? It's physically impossible. You can't have it, okay? Unless you can show me a video where the sun is at the lowest point at 12 noon, okay? It, go, good luck, 
showing me that. Okay? And then at midnight, almost, and then at midnight, the sun has to be, you know, high in the sky. There's no way out of that. Okay? No way. So there's no, so there's no real 24 hour, uh, all those stupid fake videos of the 24 hour sun, they're all fake. Just proved it right now. Yes. Not yet, not yet. Just about, just about. We're going to give it to you in a second. Okay? So we just have to do, hmm. we just have to show, we're almost, almost ready. We're done with the guys. Yeah. Yeah, hold up. Now we're going to do the tire. Uh, we're going to need, we're going to need the balloon again too, but just wait. Okay, so, so what we're going to show, so this is it. So we're going to take one of those rings from the balloon, latitude, and there it is right here. Let's say this is the equator, okay? And we're going to spin it, okay? On an angle. So this is when it's summer in the north. Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, so the, the thing is tilted towards the sun. Okay, all right. Now, we're going to go. Okay. We're going to go. Okay, you have to be on the other side, I think, this time. I don't know. But just wait, just wait. This, one, this one's more tricky. Hang on. So, hold on, hold on, sweetie. Uh, okay. So we were here spinning. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? And then how can it be this? This it? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. So now there. Hold on. So now you're away. This we found the little tico. Excellent screen. Okay. So there it is spinning now away from the sun, and so you can see. <laughs> okay, I don't know this, this is not. Okay, there, there, that's working out the best. So you see that the tilt is away from the sun. Okay, and how did I have it before? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so the tilt is away from the sun, and... <laughs> oh my goodness, it worked better with the balloon. Anyways, this, that's the problem, okay, so you see you got this... So good with the oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so there you go. This is the axis for the tilt this way. So it's away from the sun. So there, we got, we got the tilt right. So here, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, right, 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 right. Hey guys. Yeah, okay, so tilting away from the sun. Okay, there's the axis right there. Okay, so I'm going to straight out that way. Okay, so let's spin this. Okay, give it a good spin. Okay, 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 okay. So there it is. Yeah. So if you're, if you're on, on this merry-go-round here, Okay, and, and you have to, oh, the battery's flashing, oh my God, we're going to run out of the film. So let's just try to show this. Okay, we got, we put red tape markers on this. Now, we're going to take one of those rings. Yours is tilted. Okay, so they say. So this, you see where there's red tape intersecting that, that ring here? Okay, and what, what you see in there basically is, imagine the ball and it's always half lit, okay? And this is your terminator line, right here. This is your terminator line, okay? And this is one of the other lines of the ball, all right? So, if you got your terminator line, you see what's happening. It's always going to be intersecting the, I'm going to say the tires, the equator. Hold on. It's always going to be intersecting the equator at two points. Okay? I think you totally understand this is your terminator line. So it's always going to be intersecting the equator at two points. Okay? Where the earth is spinning from the light into dark and then from 
coming out of the dark into the light. So that means the sun, 24-7, 365 days of the year, is always going to be shining directly over the equator at those two points. Always. Okay, so, if we, so it's, a, it's a permanent equinox, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's retarded. So that doesn't happen. The sun is only over the equator two times a year. Once when it's going from the Tropic of Cancer down to the Tropic of Capricorn, and then when it goes back. And the reason there's three days off in the equinox is the equinox on their model is a momentary event. No, there's a range of about three days, okay? And that's perfect sense on the flat model because um, when the sun is doing its circles, when it's at the equator, it stays there for three days. Gee, what a coincidence. And the data backs that up on timeanddate.com. Okay? And try and make a Terminator line out of the data and the shape of the globe and pick all the regions and plot all the times. And you'll see, you can't make a Terminator line. Hold on, sweetie, we're just about done. Um, you can't make a Terminator line. Okay? It's just going to be all over the place. So if you can't even make a Terminator line, Okay, where's your globe? Okay, there's no globe. Okay, and the sun isn't over the equator um, two times a year. Okay, I mean, no, it's only two times a year. <laughs> okay, so that's, and then on the longest day and the shortest day, those days aren't just like one moment or one day. The, the sun stays there. Like the Adelema's flat at the top. Okay, if you see the data, the actual data. And you'll see it's about at least three weeks where it's the longest day of summer. And you can test it with shadows. You'll always get the same size. So what's it doing when the ball's going around the, the sun in that time period? Is it taking a coffee break? Okay. So you've got to really start analyzing and thinking people. Okay. You're not doing that. This is so obvious. Okay. So just again, this is your, so I'll draw it on the ball, what this is and what's going on here. So, hang on. Let's take blue. No, blue's not going to show. Red, green, green, green. Okay, so we're going to show, okay, yeah, hold on. So it's tilted, so we're going to have to draw the Terminator line funny, like this. Okay, across, across all these tilted uh, lines. Okay, so that's your terminator line. I don't even have to make it go all the way around. That's it right there. Okay. Okay, that's the terminator. Okay, so you see it's intersecting the equator right there. Always. That's one spot right there. It's intersecting the equator. Okay, you can see that. And the same thing on the other side, okay? Well, because <laughs> the Terminator goes all the way around the ball. Okay, so that's the problem. Okay, you can't have that. That doesn't occur in reality, okay? Period. So it's case closed.